for 11.3 notes for finding the area of a rhombus and kite. Um, I put rhombi because rhombi is plural for rhombuses. <clears throat> All right, so example one, finding the area of a rhombus. So you'll notice in the formula, we have a D1 and a D2. That's diagonal one and diagonal two. We multiply those together, we divide it by two, and that is our area for both kites and rhombis. Okay, so now, for this first problem, it tells you it's a rhombus, okay? If this piece is 12, then you know that the whole thing is 24, okay? Again, if this part is 16, then this is also 16, which makes it uh, 32. So there's your diagonal 1 and your diagonal 2, and you're just plugging it into the formula. So 1 half, again, doesn't really matter which one's diagonal 1, which one's diagonal 2, um, and I'm going to multiply the whole numbers first. So we're going to get 768. We take half of that, and we get a total of 384 centimeters squared. Okay, in part B, it gives us that the rhombus has a diagonal of 14 centimeters and 16 centimeters. So there's your two diagonals. Okay, what is the area? Well, let's plug it in. So 16 times 14. If I multiply that together, we get 224. And if we divide that, we get 112. And this would be centimeters. Okay. So, for example two, for the kite, we're also going to find the diagonals. So here you can see that both of these are 3 and 3. So that diagonal is going to be 6 meters. And then we have this one that's 2 and 5, so that's going to be 7 meters. So area, diagonal 1 is 6, diagonal 2 is 7, and so that would give me 42, and half of 42 is 21 meters. In part B, instead of giving you a picture, they're just giving you a description. What is the area of a kite with diagonals that are 12 inches and 9 inches long? So again, just plugging it into the formula. So we would have 108 divided by 2 is 54 inches. 